Okay, morning guys. We're now on riding an HP Velotechnic Gecko. Oh, that's with the steps motor on the front, Shimano steps, which I'm, this is the first time I've ever used that system. And it's on uh, auto at the moment. So that means the bike changes gear itself like an automatic car, which is amazing. Wow. Okay, so here's all I've got Velo here. Um, decided to take a ride over to Bike Fix. Um, I've got a uh, bit of work to do on the wow. I've managed to push some of the daytime running lights in on the front where it rolled into a shipping container. Um, so, yeah, less said about that the better. So, they've been pushed in and I need to fix them in place properly. properly so, I'm going to do that and uh, I need to sort out the gears. So, that will be done as well at the same time. And, uh, yeah, when I got here, um, Stuart had set up a really nice uh, HP Velotechnic Gecko with a Shimano Steps uh, gear, uh, uh, electric assist on it, which uh, is the first time I've seen the Steps system. So I took it for a short spin, the customer's coming to pick it up in a sec, so it couldn't go too far just down to the end of the road and back, but yeah, it's on auto mode, so it was changing gear for me. I didn't have to worry about changing gear at all, which is awesome. And um, yeah, I just did a quick little video of that. So yeah, enjoy. So this is a, a new Gecko. Actually, it's sold already. The customer's coming along in a minute. But uh, it's quite exciting because it's the first fight we've had with the Shimano steps, which is this big unit here and the battery on the back here, which makes it nice and balanced. You've got some, yeah, the weight distribution is quite nice. But the nice thing about the steps is all like really automatic and although I don't know what I'm doing I can take you through some of the options it's, it's so obvious that I think you kind of don't need to know even okay at the moment it's on auto and if I press that one oh yeah no I don't know what that's doing let's try again oh manual auto so those are the two options so on manual you can go up and down the gears like that wow. but if you put it on auto it'll shift automatically and then really <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it, it's it's because it's all electronic shift it's a hub gear let's have a shot of the hub gear there you go it's the it's the uh actually oddly nexus eight speed di2 so this is the shifting thing i think the only difference between the uh di2 hub and a normal Alphine or Nexus hub is the springs a bit lighter because it's being changed electronically you're not using mm -hmm. your you know your strength it's only a little solenoid in here the man in the van go past what's this one so and you can sort of hear it makes a little whizzing noise when you change gear I don't know if it does it when you're stationary there you go Ooh. little whizzing noise yeah it's very very fast very Fantastic. cute yeah, it's amazing. Uh, so this changes up on that side? Uh, yeah, so if you're, you're doing manual change, your hands here and you just doop, 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 like that. Yep. Uh, gives you loads of information here, which I haven't even kind of looked at yet. But, oh, there you go, average speed, maximum distance, Odo. So just like a normal cycle computer. Uh, and there's another pair of buttons here, I don't even know what they do. Oh, look, normal, high, normal and echo. Brilliant. Eco, so that obviously that's going to be the one that gives you the longest range. Yeah. Wow, stunning! Oh, it's all kicking off. <laughs> yeah. we'll do, I'll take it for a bit of a spin around. Oh, look, here's Marilyn. Hey, <laughs> So, Stuart's going to give it a little test ride and give us his general impressions of the Gecko from HP Velotechnic. Pretty 
So I think I had it on uh, the high one. So, you know, basically when you push on the pedal, when you like take off. Awesome. You could got a range. One would be in each. Are we, are we on? Yeah, we're on that. It shows you what the range would be on each setting. So at the moment it's on the high setting. So it tells you you're going to do 64 kilometers. Uh, on the eco setting, I can get 88 kilometers. Obviously, that depends on the hills, the terrain, yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, stopping and starting as well. So that can yeah. vary quite a lot. But if you're careful with it, you should be able to get that quite comfortably. Um, still set on German time. Oh, this feels really nice, and it's a lot more compact than. Uh than the Scorpion I rode with the electric assist. This feels a lot more nimble and not as tippy. It's brilliant. Yeah, it feels nice. It feels more racy than the other one. I love the gears. The way it just changes gear automatically. It's on auto. It's, it's I haven't changed gear at all and it's been changing. Yeah, you've got auto, you've got manual as well. So it's your choice. That's super cool. What I'm going to do, I'll show you around the gecko now so you can uh, see what I mean about how beautiful this bike is. Give us a wave, Marilyn. Huh? Give us a wave. Give us a wave. <laughs> Gecko retailer. Um, basic bike, two thousand three hundred pounds, I think. This yep. one's got quite a few extras. It's got obviously the step system. Yeah. It's got the. This is quite nice. You'll have to come bring a camera on the other side. This is their uh, quick release boom system. I was so, having a look at that. Yeah, so it means if you're sharing a bike mm -hmm. or using it for hire or demonstrations or something, as you pull it out, yeah, might need a hand, but nothing. Yeah. Well, you get the principle. As you pull it out, the chain goes you can, in and out. Sure, so, so you, so you don't have to keep adding links and yeah. removing links. Uh, Brilliant. With the step system, the mud guards, the rack, everything. It comes out at nearly five thousand pounds. Wow. What a lovely machine, yeah. nonetheless. Yeah. Yeah. So got them. Like, I think it's one of the nicest things we've had in the shop. Yeah. Have some really cool things. They do, you'll have to come down and check them out. <laughs> if ever you're in London or you live in London, come down to Bike Fix and take one of these for a test. Take them for a ride, yeah. don't mind. Yes, exactly. Yeah. They won't bite. <laughs> as long as he's had it, just buy him an espresso. <laughs> Which you haven't done yet, have you, John? Uh, no, no, I'm still waiting for my money to clear. <laughs> <laughs> it is expensive right now. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, make sure that you've been paid before you come down this street. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the gecko in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. some, some oh, I also fold, but I'm not going to do it now. Yeah. And a lucky gentleman is coming to pick that up directly, as they say in Cornwall. So, the guy has turned up who is purchasing the bike. And he's about to take it away to the countryside. Yeah, they're taking off a bike. Exciting! So, where do you do that? I was, I was pre that, that, that quick release. Quick release, sir. Yeah, yeah. got it. Got it. And then that, you have to slide it at the same time. Oh right, okay. That's, and that's it. And then there's a go. strap that lashes it together. Okay. Well, we've managed to park just out there. I mean, we almost had a heart attack and we told us £7.50 for a couple of hours to park. 
Yeah. Welcome to the West End of London. Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is John, the new owner of the Gecko, and um, this is his inaugural test ride. Hit him with so we'll see what he thinks. Hit him with the brakes off. Oh, not with the brakes. Got the brakes. With the brakes off. Oh, isn't this comfortable? So, just press and hold, switches it on. I think you got to squeeze the left lever to release. So, John, what do you reckon? First impressions. <laughs> How was it? Oh, I'm having one. Oh, really? Superb. So comfortable, isn't it? And it even lets you, there's a bit of a slope up there and it just pulls away with you. Oh, because yeah. you've got the, the motor. The eco, yeah. Fantastic. The only thing is the boom was a little bit long. Uh-huh, uh, that can be pushed in a bit. No, just push it down a little bit. There we go, it moves. If I, um... Sure. Okay. Perfect. Now that's it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that is one impressive machine, isn't it? Never go. 